Hi there, Christina Torres. Welcome to my page. Today's video is going to be basic 101 introduction of marketing, how to market for your business, what we call attraction marketing. So on this page, I'm hoping to inspire women network marketers to grow your business online through online strategies, but also having a positive mindset and self-confidence to do it every day that we are trying to run our business. So basically in a nutshell, you are so excited because you have this great opportunity and you started this new business, online business, whatever it may be, and you're so excited, you're telling everyone, all your family and friends about it, you're posting everything about your company, your company name, the product name, your cell, all over your page, every day, every day. Can you relate? If you can relate to any of that, go ahead and put a laughing emoji and let me know. And let's say you know that is what we all started. I raise my hand and say, I've done that, but you're not attracting um, the right people to you that way you're basically only you're probably a, a, annoying people if it continues and continues and continues so if you like for me i have been doing this journey for almost two and a half years almost three years actually in august so in the beginning of that phase i know i was doing all that it just didn't seem right anymore so i wanted to know a better way to attract people to what my offer was so the first step is not doing anything I already described. You want to attract your people the right way through curiosity posts about telling people's stories. Um, if you have testimonies, that's great. So tell that person's story. Tell that person's story from the beginning to end and what those results were from the product that um, they utilized. Or if they, you know, were, you know, I don't know, suck on their luck of, um, who could possibly be calling me? Probably my son. Yeah. Okay, it's my son. Um, down their luck and making extra money. Whatever it is, you'll need to tell that in a way that people are wanting to know people's stories, their results in a positive way. So basically, in a nutshell, you know, what is your main product? You know, some companies obviously have more than one product. Maybe focus on something that um, is universal for everyone or something that is getting great results because sometimes when we start, we can't always... You know, um, sometimes what we do is we focus on so many other products. Maybe stick to the top three. Stick to those, and then once people start liking what you have when they're getting their results, they may ask for more and ask for other products. So, you know, on top of your head, what is that for you? Is it something that has to do enhance the lashes? Something that gives energy? And tell that story. Tell that story of energy solver, um, you know, more energy after work to cook dinner, um, going to bed early, you know, um, not having any eyelashes, embarrassed of your eyes and enhancing your lashes, um, you know, losing weight, that belly fat for the summer. So whatever it is, that's how you're going to do those posts, um, giving information and telling a story. That's tip one. I had three tips. I'm not sure if I told you guys that. So think of it that way. And the tip two I told you is, um, I'm going to share with you is with so much going on in social media, there's so many platforms to utilize, but right now, if you are still trying to struggle with your business, um, your opportunity, whatever it is, you need to focus on one main platform that you are going to commit yourself to and however that looks like for you and stick to that platform until you achieved it and gotten massive results, then move on to another platform. I will talk about maybe dueling and tool too in a, the next tip. So. Basically, like Facebook, you know, Facebook does so much for you. You have your business opportunity for your business page. Um, then you have your profile for your personal page. And then we have stories. We have groups. There's so much you can do um, within Facebook that it's really still one of the best tools to use as far as social media platforms. Um, some people do say, well, what about an, um, you know, a search engine, search engine like Pinterest or YouTube? You know, whatever one that you want to use, use it, but just focus on one and get those tools that you need, okay? Um, third tip is basically when you make your plan, okay? So what's your plan? What days are you gonna be posting? What days are you going live? Because you have to be going live for your business to grow, for you to um, connect with people. People need to know who you are, know your voice, um, get to know you before they're gonna like and trust you, and then they might buy from you or join you, okay? So, you know, have a planner, do it in your Google Calendar, Trello, whatever it is you utilize for your business, but make it consistent. I like to do sometimes a month in advance, but I'm going to try to do weekly and see how that goes. I just like to get it done. So I take a weekend morning and sit there and do it. 
So, you know, what are you planning on? What are you posting about? Are you doing quotes, motivational videos? What days you're going live? So what I suggest is when you're planning for the week or the month, put in the days that you commit yourself and you raise your hand that you're going live, put those in, maybe put some quotes in and then see what else that you can give, what other value you can give as far as posting. And this is gonna be better if you work your business page because Facebook is changing everything less things are going to be able to be seen through your profile personal page so you really don't want to work your business there you really need to move to a business page in a business page you can do products or business opportunity it's whatever works best for you but still doing curiosity posts and giving value if you want to put a picture of whatever it is you might have you know but just hold it and hide it you know um don't give it away because when you give away everything then you, the people don't have to ask you. You want to get them there, you know, them curious to ask you, hey, what was that you were using? So those are the main three tips. But one thing I want to leave with is if you say you like Facebook, you've been using Facebook and you're ready to up your game, um, then, you know, go ahead and maybe um, dabble in Instagram. But religiously use your schedulers so you can do them in advance. That's the only way you're going to maintain to be on top of what you need to do as far as scheduling. Because if you're not um, scheduling in advance, it's going to overwhelm you. So for me on this business page, I do everything in advance and schedule that. And then on Instagram, I use an app called Buffer to schedule mine in advance. Okay. Now, obviously, you're working your stories daily at least three, at least three or more during the day, um, throughout the day. Um, you know, so that takes a little work. Whatever it is you're doing, people want to know about your life. What do you do in the morning, afternoon, evening? Whatever it is you want to share so people know you're a real human, right? And that's how you're going to be on top of it. So I know on our profile business, if you are put posting there, maybe post more, not maybe, post more about you, who you are, about your family, your ups and downs. Um, and then that's randomly whenever you post. But think about it. People are on morning early morning when they're getting ready for their day at night when they're unwinding and lunchtime between maybe 12 and 1 okay so i'm hoping those three tips help you um, to attract people the right way to pull those curiosity posts and give value to people not just being that um sally sally salesy person sammy sally sally sells whatever so if you find this valuable and you would like to give this information to your team members, other people who might need to hear it, please um, let your network know and let me help you network to give some value and tips on how to be branding yourself and attracting your right tribe to you. Um, also, if you're wanting to know, well, I don't want really anything about attraction marketing, I will let you know here. Um, a freebie of a free training on a boot camp of, of the introduction and it's totally free to you just to get some ideas of what attraction and marketing is and how you start with that. I will leave that here for you. Also, if you are not doing Facebook Lives and you, hopefully you're loving to watch me um, three days a week, um, in my community, my online community, my mentor is doing a um, 14 day challenge for Facebook Lives to help people um, get the courage and just hit that start button and just getting ready to go. So I've been working with her since last summer. There's people in the community that have just started maybe prior to the new year, like the holidays, and they have grown so much um, implementing her techniques and her strategies and how she encourages in the community. So you will get all the support for 14 days and how to go live, how to do it the right way, what you should say and all that stuff that you'll need to get started. Once you do it, it's addicting and you're gonna wanna just keep on going because you want to welcome people and give value to people. Because really, in a nutshell, this is what it's about. Giving help to others who are in need. So that's all I have. Thank you for listening. Have a great night. God bless until tomorrow. Take care.